Everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays of the Rimworld. Let me get the game started here. Alrighty, so last episode, I believe I kind of discussed what I wanted, what I'm kind of planning to do with the base. What I'm doing over here again is going to be the stock rooms for different items. Over here is going to be an extension of rooms. This right here, I found some metal, so I'm going to mine this out and then I'll seal it back up with like a stone wall or something. So we'll do that soon enough. Uh, I want to also break this down and start setting up a proper kitchen area, a proper comms area, and I want to also start setting up all of these benches inside with proper rooms for them. So we'll do all that soon enough. As a matter of fact, I could probably start even this out a little bit. And by what I mean by that really quickly here, as you will see, is um, let me... Um, I guess we'll quickly do this by putting a metal wall through here and then through here with the intent to knock down what's over here. And basically, I want to even this out, have it perfectly square, because I'm not sure what happened here. Where I have this little weird like recess where it's kind of going fine and it indents inside for some particular reason. Uh, so deconstruct this and this, and that should be okay. I don't think anybody should fall. Nothing should fall on anything because there is uh, support around and everything like that. Cool. So that worked out relatively well. Um, let's see here. What else can we do? Well, uh, I want to, I said, I'm going to start working on making the rooms a bit prettier. But at the same time, I really have like a big mining type of thing going on over here. And for some reason, my guys aren't too, I guess, spread out in terms of proper skills for like mining and constructing just yet so I don't want to break it up too much right now and just kind of give them an ample time to actually finish one project before they move on to the other one. They found a lot of metal over here quite honestly so that's really really good but at the same time it's annoying because I'm just kind of like oh it's more stone for us to actually have to kind of mine through. But you know whatever man I can't really complain. Oh there's gonna be a little bit more metal here too. So what I will do is just might as well mine this out and this as well and then again everything that I knock down I'll just set up metal walls and or I should say stone walls in its place. Kind of like how we had in the last episode, the last colony. If you guys remember when I found metal, or yeah, when I found metal inside of rooms, I would just kind of mine it out, then I would just replace it with the proper stone wall for it. So we'll keep that in mind right there. I hope this doesn't kind of uh, hang out outside. If it does, then we're kind of a little bit screwed. I mean, I won't mine through it, but it's going to suck. Oh, okay, we got Captain Giggle Fart. So we have another person finally in the base now. He needs a bed, which is okay, man. We'll get you a bed soon enough. We're actually building rooms for that reason alone. Um, let's see. Captain Gigglefarts. Let's find out what this guy is all about. He's an artist. Uh, he's kind of like Prince, the artist formerly known as Gigglefarts. Um, thoughts and needs and yada yada yada. Alrighty, so we got Constructing 1 and Growing 2. Research 3. Doesn't mind, which is terrible because that's our big goal right now. Shooting 5. Quite honestly, he's a good artist, but what does art really mean for us? Absolutely nothing at all. So, Captain Gigglefarts, you're gonna be a good hauler for us, I guess. <laughs> So, um, hauling, let's make this a 1, even though he doesn't really exceed at that. And let's make cleaning like a 2. We don't need you researching a damn thing. Art, <laughs> what is art? Uh, crafting, I guess we can make this like a 3 in case you have anything else to do. And I suppose just for the sake of it, we'll give him like constructing 2. And repairing 2. You don't do it well, but whatever. If you get the chance to do it, you might as well. And then firefighting 1, that's a really big plus for sure. And let's see, Captain Gigglefarts, we might as well give you a weapon even though he, he's shooting five, so it's not that bad of a shot, quite honestly, but, you know, it still leaves a bit for the imagination. So let's go with, ah, I guess we'll go to a Leon Field. Or maybe, no, no, you know what, just go with a Glock. I know it's not a good weapon, but at least it shoots a bit faster than the Leon Field, I'd imagine. Alrighty, so how are we doing right now in food? 425, 311, 23, carrots, kind of eh. So... If we can, let me quickly see about putting up um, some sun lamps over here. Let me take a look. Alright, green sun lamp? Okay, so the sun lamps are completely different now than when they used to be. Uh, floodlight lights an area brightly enough to grow crops. So, if I'm right, am I right in assuming that this lets you grow crops outside, but it doesn't catch fire while the sun lamp does catch fire? Um... I think that's what the case is, but just to be okay, certain, let me put a sun lamp. Oh, we can't. God fucking damn it, I can't because you can't build over here. God damn it, all right, that's one thing that I didn't account for. Okay, that's the reason why I need to move this inside. I, I, I need to actually move my plantations inside. What I was thinking of doing... Ugh, it's such a far away, though. It's, it's so annoying. It's just so goddamn annoying. That I, that you can't build on the edges of the goddamn map. Let me get this going so meanwhile I kind of, uh, piss myself off over here and think about how I'm going to play this out instead. Um, okay. And here's the thing. I wanted to maybe even take advantage of the edge by making this the dumping area where we sell stuff to. However, I can't build 
the orbital beacon over here. I could build it like over here and maybe have it capture a few items out here, but it's still not enough. Plus I need that wall, so it, it wouldn't work out. Unless, uh, you know what, let's actually take it, mm, wait. This, this passes, okay, this actually passes walls, right? Let's take advantage of this over here. I think we, actually no, it's gonna then power down what the hell's happening over here. Okay. Let me give a lamp to the prisoner base first and foremost. Let's, um, go with a red standing lamp because they are our prisoners, so they need to be aware that they are indeed in prison. What I need to do in order to make that happen, though. Mm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a mining project through here. I, I guess that's okay for now, and I'm gonna momentarily deconstruct this. Alrighty. And actually, let's cancel the mining project through here. I'm gonna run a wall through here and then have it connect to the lamp outside is what I'm basically planning to do here. It's not like we're mining enough, right? <laughs> I'm giving all these guys like, oh yeah, guys, you're done. You're not mining over there. You're still mining? Oh yeah, we need to mine this over here too. It's kind of like, Falcon, can you fucking relax? Give us a break here. We've been mining forever. All right, stone wall. Let me now put this through here. I know this is going to be kind of a little bit annoying and nasty, but whatever, man. We just think that this is a natural rock formation. What do we have here? A blight. Cool, that's fun. Not like I need food to survive or anything, game. All right, and over here, we'll do stone wall, stone wall, stone wall through this. And there we go basically recover what I initially ruined. All right, that's been built. All right, good. So now what I need to do here is actually put metal walls like... Oh, you know what? I won't be able to build those, at least not from this side. So I am going to have to build this first and foremost, then actually come inside of here and build it from this side. Otherwise, I won't be able to get to it. And... Hopefully you guys haul that off before you build that on top of it. Good, all right. Oh, colonist bed. Right, right. Sorry, Captain Gigglefarts. Uh... How dare I forget. So let me put a door right here, another one right here, and then if we can, let's go and give another king-size bed right about here, and another one right about there. Alright. That'll get built soon enough, I'd imagine. And as soon as it does, then uh, Captain Gigglefarts will have his bed, and he'll be happy. He won't be complaining about, hey, Falcon, I don't got a bed, yada, yada, yada. It was better off in prison where I had a sleeping spot. And it's kind of like, you know what? Giggle farts, I will gladly put you back in prison if you don't uh, stop your nagging right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Alrighty, so all good. Giggle farts is actually sleeping now after building his own area right there. Alright, all good. So now, what we need to do is actually come inside of the prison and mine this. And once we do, we'll be able to put up some sweet, um, I guess metal walls in its place. Where are my metal walls? Can't see now. Actually, no, let's do this one at a time because then they'll build the first one and they won't be able to get to the last one. So, you know, the game is a little bit wonky like at a time. So let's just build one at a time. It's a little bit annoying doing it this way, but again, it's better at it not happening at all. Also, what I wanted to do was deconstruct this. And I'm going to put a power conduit here in its place, probably one of the buried ones, because I wanted to still connect power to this. But I want to actually use this to my advantage. You know how I didn't want to, you know, put my... Uh, beacon over here because it would break the walls, but I could still probably put the beacon over here because that's still part of the building process, right? So let's see if I am correct in my assumption here. So let's put a beacon and there is another storm going on. No big deal. Where is my trading beacon at? Here it is. Oh, I can't do it. Fuck. For a second there, I thought I had I had one up the game. Okay. So here is what I am planning to do then. As annoying as this is, let me set up a beacon like, uh, right about here. Okay, and that's going to cover, actually no, let's make it right about here, for one. I know that the muffalo are there, don't worry, we'll deal with the muffalo soon enough. Let's put one here, and that's going to incorporate the wall below it, right? So let's think of the other one would probably be a good placement for it, right about here. I think that makes sense, right? Because then this one's over here. Oh, nope. Don't don't build that one. Cancel this one right here. I'll soon show you. I Believe me, there's a method to the madness that I'm trying to actually conceive right now. So I think this ended like roughly over here. So if I, put, if I was to put this one like, say, right about here, I'd get the maximum to what I want to do here. So I'll, I'll soon show you. Basically, since we can't have any of our trading items outside, inside because they won't be able to go through the roof, obviously, Oh, that's been mined out. Has somebody actually built this wall? 
Um, no, they have not. Metal wall. Oh, they actually built, did build one, but not all of them. So, I'll, I'll soon show you what I'm trying to do here. Believe me, it's, it's kind of almost ingenious at the same time, as much as ridiculous as it sounds. But since we are kind of screwed because of what happened here, since you can't build over here, I have to, I have to kind of get a little bit creative, essentially. I was going to say, let's get physical, but I'm not trying to get uh, physical. That's a song from the 80s. I'm not from the 80s. Well, I guess I partially am late 80s and stuff, but I was kind of a little falcon back in then, so I didn't really know what the hell I was talking about. So now, the reason I put those metal walls there is to actually give this man a light. So now we could probably go into furniture and do and give this man a little red light. Now, last uh, colony, I remember that the red lights or the color lights did not work in general. Like, essentially, they would not do a good job. But I hope that this has been fixed this time around. Um, let's make it like down here in the center, I guess. And I guess I could give him a cheap bet to kind of recruit him a bit faster, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Let's put a cheap bet right about here. Another one there, and another one there. Not that I plan to, you know, have like six prisoners. I mean, that'd be great. I mean, it means more colonists for us, but at the same time, you know, let's be a little bit uh, reasonable here. Alrighty, so hopefully somebody will build that soon enough. And that's actually up underneath. So what I wanted to do now... This covers this area, right? And then this covers that. So what I wanted to do is we're going to basically put our tradable items down here. Because you could still haul stuff down here, obviously. But you can't build stuff in there. So even though this area is off limits to us because of the game's mechanics, we're still going to basically, I guess, exploit the shit out of it by putting items over here for us to sell and send off to traders and whatnot. As long as, you know, our beacons don't get destroyed, obviously. That would be the uh, main part. But I am fairly certain that they probably would not at this point. What do we have here? Raiders? I haven't heard from Raiders in a while. And it's uh, quite a few of them, quite honestly. And uh, let's see. What do they have? Light machine gun one? Um, nothing. 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 Molotov cocktails? Annoying, but easy. Uh, nothing. Light machine gun, light machine gun. So we have three light machine guns, a uh, cocktail, and dudes that are going to basically be dicks and try to just set our base on fire because that is their ammo. Okay. All good. For a second there, I thought Tiger Harris was dead. Like, I, I just saw him, like, at a weird angle, and I thought he was just, he died, like, in the berry field. And I was like, really? That's kind of interesting, honestly. <laughs> but okay. Uh, let's see. So now that we have one uh, bed built, let's go ahead and deconstruct these guys here. And then you can sleep on that bed now. Mark Foley Jr. Maybe it, it inspires you to join us a bit faster. Oh, and a slave trader. Excellent. Actually, not excellent, because we haven't moved our stuff just yet. But we can still move the stuff over here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get Batman. Where is the Dark Crusader? He's actually in here having a meal. So, hurry up, Batman. Good. Call Volovova. Are you eating again, Batman? Relax, dude. Don't eat so much. <laughs> You're fucking getting fat over here. Um, We don't have enough to buy both of them, though, because I don't have all of my silver inside of the radius, which is kind of unfortunate. But let's see if we could... At the very least, buy one, if not, sell some few things. Um, we could sell this, which is good. We don't need these missiles, to my knowledge, at all, so... Um, fuck off, I don't need you. 1,200 silver is gonna be really, really good for us, and now we have enough to actually buy both prisoners if we wanted to. And we could actually sell a few weapons, which I am gonna take advantage of. Let's sell the frag grenades. Um, let's sell some Molotovs. And even this Lian Field, fuck that. And let's see, let's, what else do we have here? Right, so now, we could even sell off Mark Foley Jr., but he's actually a really good miner and a good constructor. So Mark Foley, believe me, I'm not selling you because you're going to be a good worker. You just got to get recruited, bro. And then Medieval Farm Oaf. Oh, that's actually usually good. Con growing 11, mining 6. Oh, so good. He's actually really, really good. So this is the person I'm going to buy. And then Test Subject. What do we have here? Research 9. Incapable of carrying social plant work and mining. Oh, you are terrible. Melee 9. That's good, but everything else is dog shit terrible. All right. You are indeed a test subject, and let me tell you, you failed a test because I'm not going to buy you. <laughs> See what I did there, guys? Failed a test because he's a test subject? You know what? I thought it was witty. Um, Alright, so let me buy Thomas for sure. Cool. Alrighty, Thomas. Welcome aboard. Let me have you grab this Glock over here. Alrighty, good. Uh, Boomrad, it'd be nice if you didn't eat my shit while you were in here, by the way. So, really quickly, Shadow Plays, let me have you. Go fight this boom rat. I don't want any boom rats inside of my goddamn base. Now you're going to catch fire, but that's fine. At least you took it for the team. And let's see here. Uh, that should be inside the colony zone, right? Eh, it totally is. No big problem there. Okay, Um, I like how this lamp never got built. And is that a particular reason why that never happened, guys? Or 
Am I just tripping out here? I didn't have it built? I mean, pretty sure I did. <laughs> Let's see if this works this time. Ah, uh, somebody's gonna build that, right? It looks like they're in the process of trying it. Raiders have finished their uh, staging from their assault and they're about to begin. All right, so you saw that I wasn't too worried about it. Well, I, I really wasn't because, oh, I'm worried about my guys being all the way out. Why are you guys over here? Because you're idle? Okay. That's not good. I don't need you guys outside. I mean, I'm worried now that you're outside. Get inside. Get your asses inside. <laughs> Alright, don't let him in like Axel did. No! No moto, you, you imbecile! Get inside! Close the door. Okay. You fools. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like the cut of your jib. Go inside. Jesus Christ, these guys. Alright. So, here's what we're gonna do. I, I, I'm fairly certain that my energy turret should be able to take care of a small rate like this, but we'll have our guys standing by just in case. Crazy Sam, don't you fucking dare go outside, okay? Um, so, I'm gonna have Crazy Sam post up right here. Then I'm gonna have Nomoto post up right about here. Ken Chan right about here. Crazy Wolf here. Fire Hedge over here. Okay. So, one of them is already down. Now, my goal here is not to kill everybody, as a matter of fact. It is just basically to maim a few of them, have them flee, and once they start fleeing... That turret, this guy is doing some crazy work from all the way over here, by the way. Alright, Molotov dude got taken care of, which is really important. This guy is silly. Nomoto is uh, taking damage. Friendly fire, if anything. Alright, so... Here comes another one. Straight up. Straight out of Compton. And now he's dead. Crazy Sam just took a crazy shot to the head. He's a crazy dude, though, so he'll be okay. And there's still three more of them hanging out over here. So, uh, again, this turret probably needs to start moving to the side because they could actually just post up from out there and actually take good shots at it, which is not in my best interest to happen. So now, there's only three of them left. Meaning it's... Oh, for a second, right, Crazy Sam was dead. Crazy Sam, let's have you move because you're taking a little bit of a... quite a bit of a friendly fire there. Let me have you start moving up. Ken Chen, also move up a bit if you can. Alrighty, and there goes one other dude, dead. Okay, now, we're in a better situation for these guys to get some few shots in here, and you guys move, and you guys will be ready for when they start trying to retreat. Okay, how are we doing over here? 100 for the Marine, 93 for the Brawler, and then there's still one more dude that's about to come in and start setting shit on fire. Oh, actually, two of them. They've been actually wandering around a bit. They're lagging it a bit to actually come in here, which is a little bit... Okay, turret is not doing too good. But now they're fleeing, which is good. So turret, you could go offline now. Thank you for your hard work. And now it's about time for us to go crazy melee. So Kenshin, if you can, let's stop doing what we're doing and let's, uh, well, don't unmilitarize, but I need you to go and start doing some melee on Andy the Marine, along with Nomoto. Melee, alrighty. And then we got Mu and we got Stofern still. So crazy Sam, you're kind of injured, so let's not worry about you. Let's have you melee attack over here, Crafty Wolf, and take Fire Hedge to give you a hand. Alright. And then we'll have Thomas. Thomas, I don't think you're that great of a melee character, so I'm going to give somebody to help you out soon enough, but we'll get there when we get there. Alright, you guys, don't let them run by you. Fucking melee them in the face and stop them. Crazy Sam? Okay, you know what? That was actually a really good shot for us because it's going to stop him a little bit. Okay, good. <laughs> Give him a little bit of weakening. It's okay. Good idea, Crazy Sam. Good idea. So, Crazy Sam, you are going to go after uh, Stofern as well. Now, they're not going to get through this wall or this door, by the way. At least I don't think they should. Just in case, let me send a few more guys militarized over here to give us a hand. But they shouldn't get, uh, they shouldn't get away. Because we're going to start getting some crazy melee action on them anyway. So, let's see what happens over here. They're going to fight us back because they're just trying to escape at this point. They're like, fuck that. Get me out of here. But it does seem that, for the most part, we're going to just about kill everybody. Oh, no, no, we got a knockout. So, Thomas, Crazy Sam, let me have you continue melee fighting this guy. While Crazy, or Crafty Wolf, let me have you capture Moo. And you guys are foolish because you shot this man. We could have caught him. We killed a Marine, unfortunately. So, that, that sucks, but whatever. Uh, undraft you guys, and then these guys are coming in to help, I believe. Undraft, undraft, and undraft. Alright, overall, decent raid. Uh, however, we did learn that my, I guess my turret is not in a good spot because they can just post it from over there and take some sweet shots at it because it's not, not that far back. So we definitely have to start doing a little bit of uh, reconnaissance over here. 
And I might actually, you know what, do a little bit of a maze in here. And by maze, I'm not going to put up, like, sandbags over here. But I might make them actually come in and around. Um, like we used to do in my very second colony, I believe is what it was. But I don't know. Well, I'm still thinking about that. For now, let's just pretty much just fix up what happened here. And what do we have here? A trade ship is passing nearby under a wood economy vessel. Okay, I'm not really interested in that right now because we're not dealing with wood just yet. <laughs> uh Believe me, it's a worldwide problem, guys. If you have wood problems, then believe me, it's perfectly fine. You're not the only one, right? That's the reason why they make those uh, really, you know, those commercials that everybody makes fun of. And it's kind of like, ah, you know, this guy has an erectile dysfunction. It's funny. It's funny, but at the same time, you know, there's some people out there that you know, can't get it up. And it's kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Okay, so uh, door will get built soon enough. Bodies will get hauled away. All good. All good, relatively good. Okay, so now let's take a look at what's going on in here. Crafty Wolf, you are free to go. Moo, let's look at Moo. Let's see what his problem is here. Uh, prisoner, let's get him recruited first and foremost, and let's look at his character. 3-3-3, three, 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 mining 6, shooting 7. Alright, not, not a bad guy. Not a bad guy indeed. And we do have a light in here. So Mark Foley, let me find out from Mark Foley if our lights are working. Um, He's in darkness still. Okay, it doesn't work. God damn it. Alrighty, so again, lights are there just for, I guess, purely, um, I guess purely, uh, visual reasons. They're not gonna necessarily work how you want them to work, so we'll cancel that out and we'll just get a regular lamp. Unfortunately, because we do need to give them some light to give them a little bit of a better chance to recruit, even though, you know, negative three is not that big of a negative buff, but whatever. Standing lamp, let's put this right about here. What is this, a corner lamp? Looks pretty cool. I wonder if it even lights up. I'll, f I'll try it out later, though. Alright, so we built the light there. Good. Now, oh, we recruited Mark Foley, I think. <laughs> the moment that we put that light up, he was like, alright, I'm convinced. The light did it. So Mark Foley is actually a really good worker, I said. He's going to help us out, out tremendously. And we also have a wood economy vessel. So we already knew that, though. So Mark Foley is good to go. I don't think we have a weapon for him. So let's give him a light machine gun. And I do believe that Thomas could upgrade to a light machine gun as well. Excellent. Alrighty. How is our food? Still relatively low. One of the things I've been kind of uh, slacking off on a bit here. So again, we're going to do a little bit of harvesting right about through here. I really need to set up those uh, hydroponic tables soon enough. Alrighty. Unfortunately, this raid kind of uh, threw me back a bit as to what the hell I was trying to do first and foremost here. So um, again, we kind of have to just take it by stride, though, and see what happens. So, alrighty, we have our trading area over here, and I will start moving some stuff down here that I don't need soon enough. But now that we have our stock rooms built, we actually need a few more rooms now, though, because we have a few people waiting in line to get recruited. So let me do uh, this, this, and then we'll put up two more furniture, or royal beds, I should say. And let's flip this over. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Cancel. And then let's do this again. Royal bed, like so. There we go. And now let's start also putting some orders to, or actually zones for this area here. So what I want to do is actually leave this empty so they're not running through our items to kind of make it a little bit like nicer and whatnot. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is make this a stockpile room. So we have food over here and we're going to have, I'd say metal here because metal is the second important stuff after food, right? So we'll have metal here and what I'm going to do here is go to... Not manufactured, but raw resources. So let's turn everything off first and foremost. Go to raw resources. And we'll do metal. And we'll boot, do this as our preferred area for it. Okay. So it's going to be metal. Then we'll make um, silver on this one. And again, we're not going to have too much silver right, at all times. Especially because our silver is mostly... Actually, you know what? Our silver is going to be hanging out over here in reality. So that's not going to be silver at all. Was this is going to actually be um, stone. Stone, we have a lot of stone. So this will be basically stone. Like a stone, as Chris Cornell once said. Uh, let's see, I'd sing that song, but I can't, you know, I'm really tone deaf. So you guys don't want to listen to that shit. Uh, so this is going to be stone, wherever it might be. Where the fuck is stone? Stone blocks, there we go. And this will be preferred as well. And then over here, we'll make this one weapons. And then we're going to have another one for wood. <laughs> uh, I'm seven years old. And let's see, turn this all off, and then this will be, I said, wood. So let's make this as, oh god. So, we're going to need planks, right? Logs, we have logs right now. 
but we have to refine them over to planks because logs by themselves don't do a damn thing for us. So what I'll do then is make this planks and wood. So lo or I should say la uh, logs and planks and then we'll put this as preferred. And then I said this is a uh, metal stone. So this right here will be weapons and then after weapons um, I might combine the wire spool with the um, stone or actually we'll see where I could put this, the actual um, wire spool at. So we still need one more for weapons I said right so we're gonna have to do a little bit more mining really quickly here and then this will be six right good and then we'll give ourselves a little bit of an outlet to know that this will be a hallway for something in the future. Alrighty, and now what I could do is basically um, delete this uh, zone over here. Dumping stock, no, delete zone. Now, um, we've done that. Now what I'm doing here is basically opening up this area for us to start building our kitchen. So again, it's kind of like, you know, a slow process, but it's a process that I'm actually trying to do nonetheless. By the way, I think we have more than enough wire spool right now, don't we? Eh, might as well keep a bit extra more. What do we have here? Local boom rat's gone mad. Yeah, try it, Boom Rat. See what happens to you. Actually, don't ruin my door. Don't worry, Boom Rat. I'll come out to you. How about that? Giggle farts. I need you to come and fight this Boom Rat. Who's been real prick about things. He's been talking about your mama. Believe me, I heard him. I heard him, Giggle Farts. <laughs> he said harsh things about your mom. You don't, you're not going to let this Boom Rat get his way. Believe me. Um, How's this Boom Rat doing? Ten. He's about to die. Alright, he's dead now. Um, So let's have him get hauled off. Actually, nope. That's the door. Let's get the boom rat hauled off, and then giggle farts. Hopefully you're not on fire. Yet. Alrighty, good. That's gonna be a little bit more for us to actually, um, you know, but we still have, we have a lot, you know, we're low on food, but we're really not that low, because soon enough we'll be able to actually butcher these things and actually get some extra meat going on here. So, believe me, it's a slow process, but we're gonna get there easily. And, oh, and by the way, let's actually delete, um, this, and this, and this as well. Because I want this to be kind of like the area to it. And I could put some doors there, I suppose. But I don't think it's really too important. Just to kind of separate it, but whatever. We, we know what's going on there anyway. And then what I could do is start moving the silver down over here. And like adding like a place for silver. So let me do a stockpile area. What does this cover? This covers a lot. So we could do... Um, let's do a stockpile area. Oh good, that actually stays. Perfect. So let's do... Oh, it stays momentarily. But not completely. Oh god. <laughs> I just ruined something here. Uh, delete this zone over here. Okay. And what I want to do is... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Stockpile. Mm. So let's do this first. And then I believe it ran... Let's see. Stockpile... This ran through here. It's kind of a slow process, but it's going to maximize the uh, amount that we could actually put in here. So it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. And then it's going to be one L here, I believe. And then it was like this. Was that right? Totally was. Okay, good. Now, this is all multicolor, which is going to be kind of annoying. But it's going to be like separate storages too, which is kind of really annoying. I should be able... Uh, whatever. Different colors don't give a shit. It's going to have the same thing anyway. So storage, this will be for um, silver. So let's turn this all off and make this silver based. And same thing right here. We don't have to sell anything just yet. Whenever we have extra stuff to sell, then we'll put it in here. But for now, we don't need to make that silver just yet. So let's just keep those areas right now as silver. And then we'll go from there. Okay, good. And then we'll probably put some weapons when we start getting extra weapons to sell off and everything like that. But so far, so good. There's a big fire over here, though. We should probably take care of it. Well, actually, the rain's going to take care of it for us. Okay, good. So let's call it an episode here today, guys. I felt it's gone on long enough. And we do have now a better inkling as to what the hell we're trying to do. We have some stock rooms. Everything's going to be move forward. So assuming that we get uninterrupted next episode with no raiders, we'll be able to start building our kitchen over here and then putting our benches inside and make proper rooms for them. So everything's going pretty good, and I actually have a few people to rename too, so that's going to be pretty exciting. So once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.